Today we are going to be designing our own castle and we're going to do that by printing Lego blocks. So you will have two different sizes to use as printing and you can use the spot that they connect with on the top or you can actually print the bottom. So I'll show you what both of those look like. So I'm going to start with my paper either horizontal, that's the long way, or tall. So I'm going to put my name on the back and I'm going to flip my paper over. I'm going to print my first castle long. And I'm going to start with my long block. So when I print, which we've done already this school year, I am just dabbing the block into the black paint. I'm going to start in the middle of my paper. So I have a little space on this side and a little on this side. And I'm going to start with a door. So my door is going to have a block long and maybe I'm going to have kind of a rounded door. So I'm going to stamp on the sides and I'm going to connect this with a smaller block. So I'm dipping the smaller block into the um, paint and I'm going to connect it like that. So I kind of have this rounded door. You could have it rounded, you could have it um, just a couple of rectangles. So now I'm going to stamp the side of my castle and I'm going to make it going up really tall. And I kind of like a castle that has a zigzag or a jagged edge. So I'm going to have my castle come down and go up and down and up. So I'm using the down and up pattern to make it look like it has a jagged edge. And I ended on that side and I am stamping about two times before I get more ink. So my castle goes all the way down to the bottom of the paper and it's almost touching both sides. Now I want to get creative and kind of fill in the inside of my castle. So I started with the door, now I have the outside. So the inside, I could use the circle part of this block. So your fingers will get a little bit dirty today, but I'm going to stamp and see what it looks if I do maybe a row of these circles around. And I definitely need more paint. Can you see how it's starting to wear out? Get some more. If you wanted to have the um, rectangle and put the circle parts inside, you could do that too. Kind of adds a cool decoration. It almost looks like stones, doesn't it? Awesome. I kind of like that. I'm doing that everywhere. So my fingers are dirty. I'm sure yours will get dirty too. Uh, maybe in here I'm going to make some windows. So I'm going to have my windows be rectangles. So I'm not going to put anything inside those windows. So maybe next time I could draw something in them. Something that's in my castle. I'm going to finish up by putting a couple more blocks on the sides here. Get them some more to fit. So I can definitely see that this is a castle shape. I have a door and I have the outside edge and I had time to even put some cool designs on the inside. These are going to dry and next time we're going to add color to them. Today kindergartners you are going to be using crayons to color your castle. So you could have a very colorful castle or you could have a castle that's maybe brown or gray. You get to be the designer and decide. So when I'm coloring, I might color some of the squares. I printed all one color. I might add a design on some of the bricks. So maybe this one has some pink spots. And maybe I'm gonna have a pattern, kinda like the blue and the pink and maybe I'm gonna have some purple bricks. So I'm gonna keep coloring and you will see my colorful castle in just a little bit. So I am finishing up my castle and I wanted to show you some of the tricks that I've been using. 
Sometimes I find a crayon that doesn't have a wrapper and I rub the side of it and that gives me a really nice light color. So I'm kind of doing that to make my castle look the same inside. I colored light on the door so I could put a color or a pattern on top darker. That's what I did with the blocks on the outside where you can see a darker color in the circles. I'm going to stick with this purple and I'm just going a little bit darker. I turned some of these into windows and I have a person in the window and I have some curtains in the window. You get to be the creator and you could put things in your castle as well. I even added some flags at the top. So have fun, use your imagination, and turn your castle into a masterpiece.